Hey guys, it's Phase One with another video. Today we are going to go through the road map roundup. Um, all right, if you're new to this channel, um, subscribe if you haven't already. If you like to see Star Citizen content, all right, uh, make sure to leave a like on this video and leave some comments down below. All right. Um, so essentially, the road roadmap round roundup uh, for this week, March second. Um, they're saying that they made a few notable changes. Um, the one that we're really going to go into is the release view itself. And um, they, they added a really important, interesting uh, feature right here, which is the rivers uh, as a cortex. So this tool allows rivers and basins to be further developed and uh, ready for production use in order to enhance the ecosystem of our planets to first implementation in the persistent universe is microtech microtech river so it looks like they're gonna have one river on microtech and uh that's really cool that's really cool that they they uh they're they're bringing this through finally um progress tracker i'm not really going to the progress tracker but they are adding a dynamic mission system to the progress tracker um essentially um but um yeah it's a little I don't even try to go through the progress tracker. It's just not easy to read, really. Um, so we're going to go into uh, the uh, road, uh, the release view itself. All right. So for 317, what we kind of want to quickly skim through it. Um, as of now, they're committed for having the DNA head textures. Uh, not much change with that. They are adding the Lorville Hospital Maria Pure Heart which is interesting, which is good. So it seems like they're dropping a hospital each each patch. Um, yeah, each patch. I think this is going to be the last one they're dropping. This is the last major location that has a, that needed a, needed a hospital, I think. Um, space Station uh, clinic variation. So it looks like they're going to be adding some more variations to the clinics at the space stations to give a different feel. Right now, they, they all kind of feel the same to me. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they're changing it up with this coming patch in 317. All right. So, um, for AI, 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 so the coffee shop vendor, right? So area 18 is getting a new interactable coffee shop. The AI will interact with the three new, with three new usables, hot drink, hot drink dispenser, soft drink dispenser, and a drink fridge to serve the player with a variety of new drinks so now a lot of people um were kind of um upset when they this was at one point this was the only committed feature <laughs> for 317 but a lot of people are not paying attention to uh why this needs to come in right now i think what this is um they're testing they're bringing this out to test it to get it ready for ships like um the the starliner um the ships where you can actually have a bartender or even um vendors in in um, once they have the ships uh or the, the places where you could actually have vendors like player owned vendors for example um the bmm the manual merchantman you're gonna have vendor shops in within the manual merchantman as well as the uh the kraken the the, the drake kraken is also gonna have vendors in there so i think this is a test bed for that as well as the starliner where it's um the starliner for those that don't know the crusader starliner is is an airline um type of vehicle where it takes and moves passengers from one place to another similar to your airplanes um of today all right so that's what that is so it's going to be important to have the ai working properly on there to serve drinks and things of that nature so it's going to be cool um I wouldn't even be surprised if they even put this on the 890 jump once it they feel like it's ready. You know, it, it'll be really cool to see have your own bartender serving people um, as you're flying your ship throughout the verse. All right, so I think that's what this is for. Um, gameplay. So as we already know, the mining gadgets are coming in, which is um, I'm really interested to see how this will. Um, make things easier for us uh, guys that do solo mining most of the time. Um, if this will help us with um, approaching the the, the more um, lucrative rocks, which are a little bit more difficult to crack, especially as a prospector. So um, 
I'll be really interested to seeing uh, to see if we could actually make if it could actually make a difference um, on the field while we're mining. So I'm really uh, interested for this uh, to see this finally. Um, the ship to ship refueling, as we already know, um, the Starfare will be the first ship to refuel other ships. What I'm kind of nervous about is I don't want it. I don't want them to implement it in such a way that once once people finally get their hands on it they do refueling for like one day and then realize that it's not really viable to make money or it becomes very it becomes less interesting you know like i, I just don't want it to to be a, like a one day thing and then everybody just goes back to the norm like their normal behaviors of going to stations you know i think they need to also make some changes economically uh to to um create a need for this ship for this mechanic coming in for the starfare that way there's there's definitely a need uh for it um or else everybody will just go to space stations and i think that will be uh uninteresting if it's uh if that happens all right so um selling items to shops is very big um for those guys that like to go out in, the, in bunkers or exploring to find loot and things like that you could finally sell your loot at uh terminals which is really interesting i really like that um what i hope um i don't know if they will do it now with 317 or hopefully in, eventually in the future they will have artifacts out there that we can go and find out go and find you know maybe some interesting locations where um that are hard to get you'll actually find artifacts that are probably worth like half a million a million two million you know what i mean and it's probably like one or two of them that you can find at, at, at certain times you know what i mean so that way it's it will encourage people to explore more or to go to bunkers more or you know things of that nature so that's um that's just my take on it hopefully uh, i think it'll it'll it will add a lot to the game once we can finally sell the loot that we're finding all right ships two ships they're currently not committed right now but uh this I, I believe they will be committed eventually for three, the 317 branch uh which is a scorpius i'm excited to get my hands on this i uh, can't wait um to uh test flight this and uh and see how this thing performs it, i'm sure it's going to be the meta ship once it comes out as usual um also the hall a is an interesting ship that i want to get my hands on as well it looks like a really interesting ship to move on from um from your starter ship right let's say you're you start off with a like a look um, a, a nomad or something like that and you want to or an aurora and you you decide you know what i really want to get into trading i'm really interested this this will be one of those ships that you'll look at man this is the very next ship i'm gonna get and it, it's gonna be interesting to work your way up and make the money to finally buy it and you know to uh exp just that whole experience that i think is really cool as a new player so um i'm happy that this is finally coming into the game um what else and then lastly which is what i mentioned earlier right the core tech right this is big this is big and this is this is why i think this is big this is bigger than the whole river core tech thing right now there's a there's a sentiment right now in the community in regards to um people feeling like cig isn't really doing anything or cig is is just hiding things from from us and things of that nature and um this kind of makes me happy the fact that um this river cortex was not mentioned at all they they did uh, uh, an inside star citizen um, a few months ago probably half a year ago um on it but they never said when it was going to come out you know so the fact that internally they feel like okay it's ready they they just put it they just dropped it into to the current upcoming patch right so i like that it seems like right now that the, the direction they're going in is when it's ready we'll put it in you know we're not going to put dates on anything but when it's ready we'll put it in and this is an exact example of that because um initially this was not mentioned for 317 at all like we had no idea right they never mentioned it so it seems like that's the direction they're moving in once it's ready they'll put it in and then they'll let us know at that point you know so um i'm happy to see it um it seems like um 
when other features that they're not even talking about right now they could drop it in at any point in time there could be another core tech feature that might come in with this we never know right so um those are my thoughts on 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 these these uh the, the this week's uh update um let me know in the comments below some of your thoughts on on some of these features that we covered are you excited for them or not let me know in the comments below once again if you haven't already subscribed uh, leave some comments share this video as well as uh, last but not least i do have an org now phase one industries if you're interested in joining an org check us out in the description down below all right i will see you on the next one